This video is brought to you by Squarespace. So we've flown with a two month old, we've flown with a six month old, but this is the first time we are flying with a baby who can move. Good morning, everybody. Not a bad spot to watch the sunrise. Hi, we're Stephen and Jess and little baby Hunter. And for the last few months, we've slowly been converting a cargo van into our new home on wheels. Everything was going smoothly until we've hit a little bit of a roadblock in our van build. So I think the best action right now is to stop doing the van for the moment until these parts get in. And seeing as we have a little bit of time on our hands as we wait for parts, I think it's time we head out on a little family adventure. We are getting ready to go on a little family adventure. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> A little smile to you because you hadn't seen you in a while. I forgot you like. So you guys are probably wondering what happened to the van build. So I think we need to cut back to Stephen on Monday. So we've hit a little bit of a roadblock in our van build. There are three parts we're waiting on and each part leads to a major project. One, the bracket for the awning. It means we can put the awning on, we can put the solar on, connect up the rest of the electricity, that's done. Number two, the cook's top. When that arrives, we can place it in, we can put on the splashback, we can finish the kitchen. Third is the ducting for the heater. When that comes in, we can connect the heater, finish that off. So there are three parts we're waiting on and we've been waiting weeks for them. So I think, unless we're just sitting around, kind of twiddling our thumbs, I think we're gonna have to stop doing the van for the moment until these parts get in. So we've flown with a two month old, we've flown with a six month old, but this is the first time we are flying with a baby who can move. She turns nine months next week. How are you gonna go, huh? <laughs> you look sleepy, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Today from the front we have Olivia, in the middle there is Sam, towards the river is Merritt. Once again, my name is... Got so many words to say, no one do us any good. I'm caught between what I want to say, what I really should. No one do us any good, I'm caught between what I want to say. Welcome to the Flinders Ranges here in South Australia. Yep, we've decided to basically go and explore the Aussie Outback. So when we came to the realisation that we were probably going to have to take about a week off the van build, we thought why not use this time, go on a bit of a family holiday because we have travelled with Hunter in the past, but as you can see, she is now basically <laughs> turning mobile. She's crawling everywhere. She wishes she could walk. She's trying so hard. So we thought while we have this week, why don't we go somewhere get the practice with the whole family adventures. And so we decided to come out to South Australia. We haven't been here for so long. And we thought, why not come to an area we've never been before? So welcome to the Flinders Ranges. We've just checked into our accommodation. And yes, we are staying in a national park in the middle of nowhere, inside a big tent. I never dreamed that you would feel the way I do. I thought that I would know just what to say. But suddenly my voice is feeling very weak If only my heart could speak You're making me confused I'm puzzled and bemused I'm fuddled Heart's been puddled by the So today we drove five hours north of Adelaide and we've come to Alpena Pound which is a really famous see. spot here in the Flinders Ranges and we've just checked in to Ikara Safari Camp and I cannot wait to show you the tent we are staying in. So here is the little tent we're going to be staying in for the next few nights. We've got a big bed, this is our little kitchen and then behind here is the bathroom. <laughs> Not every day that you're walking to dinner and there's just kangaroos hopping around. I'm going to talk now in Nurungola, so the Aboriginal language, to welcome you here. So, Nanga, Wandu, Yanangunura, Ajimatna Yakasari, 
So I'm saying hello and welcome here to Argument the Land. <laughs> The Aussie are back now. If anyone from Adelaide is watching, yes, we are supporting the Adelaide Crows right now. Way more importantly, <laughs> if you listen to the podcast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we've decided our first night here in the Flinders Ranges, we've come up to an area called Stokes Hill Lookout and the views here are unreal. We found this little rock set up a little family picnic what do you think Bubba and uh, yeah she's definitely starting with the with the Jess hats early I would say we're pretty stoked to be here <laughs> can, I, can I get to the snacks oh. <laughs> poor Hunter she's having like healthy snacks what have we got on the on the table <laughs> It's kind of a nice taste before we get the full Flinders Range experience because we're just out here, we're a little bit outside of the National Park looking over these rolling hills. They were saying that these are some of the oldest hills, they're about 500 million years old just looking at them. And we're getting such an epic sunset. You're like an ocean, full and deep. I think this may be one of the most epic places that we have ever had a picnic. <laughs> we just want to say a massive thank you to our longtime partners and good friends over at Squarespace for partnering up with us on this video to help make this little family getaway possible. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. With their award-winning website design, 24-7 customer support and an easy to use platform, you can get your travel blog, website for your business or even a little family diary up and running in no time. So if you are interested in a website, make sure you check out our link in the description below for a free trial. Plus, when you are ready to launch, make sure you use our discount code provided so you can get 10% of your purchase of a website or domain. Now, let's head back to the video. so pretty out here. Oh my goodness, can you see that the rock's already starting to light up a bit? Yeah, I can. Yeah. I'm just like, what are we doing? Why aren't we snuggled in bed? No one enjoys getting up before the sun does. And this is coming from someone who always encourages everyone on their travels to set that alarm the night before and rise before the light. Today was one of those mornings filled with so many memories that our yawns turned to wonder as we charted a little plane as a family, including Baby Hunter, and slowly flew high above the Wilpena Pound, seeing colours of the outback reserved just for the early bird. Hush my troubled mind and rest. I need to breathe and clear my Soaring through the heart of the Flinders Ranges, it honestly made our early morning wake up so worth it. Oh, and can we take a moment to appreciate Hunter's squishy cheeks from the noise cancelling headphones? We honestly can't believe how well she did, even deciding that, you know what? You got me up so early, I'm gonna have my morning nap here. <laughs> Hello! What did you think of the views, huh? I think you slept through most of the views. I think as well. She didn't even look at the views. She was looking at the pilot the whole time. <laughs> Where the hell is he? <laughs> so I think that was probably the most epic way to start your first morning here in the Flinders Ranges. We woke up bright and early and luckily sunrise here is at 7. So it's not too early and we decided to go and see this place from the air because everyone said that, you know, you can go hiking and stuff but seeing it from the air is 
unbelievable. And we've been on like little small chartered flights before, but it made it so much more magical with Hunter. This is what it's all about, <laughs> is like seeing the world through her eyes. Seeing her squishy face, because she had to wear these um like noise cancelling. Yes, to, no <laughs> to cancel the noise. And oh my gosh, she was so cute. And then at the end, as we were descending, I thought I'd give her the dummy to help if she needed help blocking her ears. And uh, she fell asleep. So it was very adorable. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, if you guys come out here, I think that's probably the best way you can see the Flinders Ranges because it goes way above any of the hiking trails and do the 7 a.m. or at least the sunrise one because mm -hmm. that's when the light is the best. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's coffee time. <laughs> Cheers. Not gonna lie to you guys, the um, Aussie Outback can get pretty hot. And if you're wondering what we've been doing, a lot of lounging about, a lot of playing with this little monster and finding some water to cool down in. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> okay, it is now late afternoon and we've decided to come out for one more sunset mission. Now, in the area there are a bunch of four-wheel drive trails, so we definitely recommend if you come into the Flinders, hire a four-wheel drive. So we are trying one out, one is called Bunyaru Trail, so that's the one that we are heading on. Hunter is currently about to fall fast asleep. Maybe the bumps will keep her asleep, we will see. An off-roading adventure is not complete without some Tim Tam snacks. So the reason we chose this trail is a view called Razorback Lookout and we've just arrived and yep, it is definitely worth it. If you guys wanted one sentence to round up your weekend here at the Flinders Ranges is come out for the beautiful hikes, the beautiful scenery and just relax. You're out here in the middle of the outback. I definitely think we chose one of the most epic places to end our time here in the Flinders Ranges but if you're enjoying this little supper <laughs> But if you're enjoying this little South Australia series, we still have one episode left and it is going to look a little bit different than it does here in the Aussie Outback.